What's up guys and welcome to a brand new 4K and Blu-ray update video. It's been probably over a month since I posted one of these. So we've got a decent stack for you guys. Uh, nice hefty stack, a lot of 4Ks, 4K steelbooks. Uh, we have a Criterion 4K title here. We've got uh, a lot of cool stuff, uh, plus a couple Blu-rays, all new release 2023 uh, Blu-ray films. So a lot of these are, uh, new release films. It's 2023, the 4Ks as well. So let's just get started right off the bat. The first three are 4K steelbooks that were just released this past Tuesday, starting with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful steelbook. I mean, the, the colors, the way that it looks, I mean, it's just so... It's so cool. It's one of my favorite MCU steelbooks. I mean, seeing this in person, uh, it's really something special. So, great movie, great steelbook, and the IMAX ratio is back uh, for Disney, you know, in this release. So, that is very exciting. Uh, another Disney released 4K Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray steelbook, it's Cinderella. Celebrating the 1950, I believe it came out in 1950, the original animated classic. This was released to the Disney Movie Club in a standard 4K combo pack a couple of months ago. And finally getting a wide release to Best Buy shelves for the exclusive 4K steelbook with the Disney 100 steelbook. Some people might think that the artwork is lazy. You know, I might agree with you. But there's just something special about this one. Something special about Cinderella. Uh, you know, you open it up. Really nice, really nice steelbook. And the 4K on this is something special. Uh, they went back. They did what they had to do. And it looks fantastic. This looks so much better than the Blu-ray that was released for the Diamond Edition, whatever it was. Um, this looks as close to uh, how they originally intended it to look. Uh, back in the day. So this is an incredible release and one of the best uh, Disney classics. Uh, next is a great steelbook for the 25th anniversary of The Big Lebowski. I love this steelbook. I mean, this is this is fantastic. It looks so cool. Beautiful matte finish. Uh, I mean, I, this artwork is just something special. You have the discs, you know. Uh, I've never seen the movie. Believe it or not, I've never seen the film. I owned it on 4K, sold that to get this steelbook. So, you know, this is a great steelbook. I'm a steelbook head. I'm a steelbook junkie. So can't wait to finally check this out. Another new release, not this past Tuesday, but a couple weeks ago, uh, 4K steelbook is Sisu. Uh, this is a movie that I did a review for a couple weeks ago. Um, on the channel, in the King's Corner. Uh, wasn't too hot on it. I thought it was a great looking disc, but the film itself, I've just seen other films do it better. I've seen films like Nobody. I've seen, seen films like John Wick just do it better. Is it is it terrible? No. I don't think it's a bad movie, but I don't think it's all that great either. So that's what we got. Uh, next up is not a steel book because I had the steel book pre-ordered. Basically, they said, hey, we're canceling your pre-order. So I said, okay, well, I guess I'll just go to the store. They didn't have any of the steelbooks in stock, so we've just got the standard 4K Blu-ray of Scream 6. I do eventually hope to upgrade this to a uh, to a steelbook, but as of right now, Scream 6, 4K Blu-ray, nice artwork still, you know, it's, it's not terrible. So, uh, yeah, one of the better films in the franchise for sure, probably the sec my second favorite in the series, to be honest. I really enjoyed it, and uh, looks great and sounds great. 4k so uh next up another film that looks and sounds great on 4k from sony it's a steelbook release of insidious this first of all the movie is great this is a great horror film it's one of the best horror films in my opinion uh but this i mean the picture i mean the blacks are so so deep the color is vibrant the sounds are great very ominous um you have the red door back there which is the title of the new movie uh which kind of caps off the Lambert trilogy. Um, yeah, this is this is a terrific steelbook. Sometimes Sony doesn't even do art, artwork on the inside. This time they did. Um, so, I mean, it's very, very, very creepy. Very good stuff. Nice shine to it. Um, the final steelbook we're going to be talking about 
is Jaws 2. Uh, didn't watch this yet. I've only seen the first Jaws film. It's one of my probably top top 20 movies, something like that. I don't know. I think it's a great movie. Um, could potentially be Spielberg's best film. Uh, yeah, Jaws 2, not directed by Steel, Steven Spielberg, but the score is by John Williams. So you got, you know, Roy Schneider returning. So looking forward to seeing it. Hope it's a good transfer. Haven't heard too much about it, but that's Jaws 2 on a 4K Steelbook. Next up from, let's see, Marquee Collection, MVD. Uh, which I believe this is their first 4K release. It's Rain Man. This was delayed for a little bit. Finally, it has been released to the public. Haven't watched the film yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've heard so many great things about it. I owned a Blu-ray for a while. Finally got that, uh, finally got that 4K released. Can't wait to see this. Dustin Hoffman, Tom Cruise, two great actors, and a Best Picture winning film. Uh, with a total of four Oscar wins. So it's pretty big. Uh, next up is a Criterion 4K release with a beautiful uh, artwork here. Uh, slipcover. Very rare you see Criterions with slipcovers, but it's Time Bandits from 1981, filmed by Terry Gillum. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's it's very cool. Very cool artwork. Um yeah, Criterion 4K Blu-ray. Picked this up. Uh, Barnes & Noble was having a 50% off sale. Jumped on it. Got Time Bandits. Can't wait to watch this movie. And hope it's a great restoration. Uh, the next three films are standard 4K Blu-ray releases. And the first one here is a new release film to 2023. It's Evil Dead Rise. Uh, no steelbook released for this, so that was kind of disappointing. Um, the movie, you know, it's it's uh, it's a movie. Um I don't love it. I mean, I'm not too hot on the Evil Dead franchise, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think it's a bad movie. I think it's it's, it's it's an okay film. I have a review up for it a couple months ago. Check out the uh, King's Corner playlist. But it's not a bad movie. It's just, uh, I don't know. I feel like Evil Dead movies are good at the start, and then they just kind of don't know where to go halfway through. So it, it seems like all these movies kind of fall into that trope. But it's not bad. You know, they change up the setting. So... Evil Dead Rise. Is it a great 4K disc? I wouldn't say it's a great 4K disc. So I wouldn't say it's a bad disc, but if we're talking about great 4K discs, one of the best 4K Blu-rays of the year is from Universal, a film that has been rumored to get a 4K release for a while now. It's Les Miserables. And if anybody's curious about the slipcovers, don't worry. They're in storage. The thing about uh, you know collecting movies, if you put them on the shelf... Uh, slipcovers just take up 10 times more space. So if you just take that off and you have something like this, you can fit a lot more movies on your shelf. So, uh, yeah, but this is a terrific looking Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray. The picture is incredible. I mean, this, this movie looks so good. And this production design value and the cinematography and all that is great as well. So it really shines on 4K. And the sound is also extremely immersive and uh, powerful. So... That's Les Miserables on 4K Blu-ray. The final 4K we're talking about, recently releasing to 4K disc, is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2014 film. Uh, why did they decide to release this? Probably because it had a UK release, which was out for a little bit. They released it to the US. So yeah, that's here on 4K. Uh, maybe eventually they'll release the original trilogy. I know the sequel is out on 4K already. And uh, yeah, they did this probably for the new film. Uh, the new animated film, uh, Mutant Mayhem, which I just did a review for earlier today. It's up on the channel now. Come on over, check that out. But uh, yeah, this movie uh, it has its moments. I like the turtles in it. So yeah, that's the 4Ks. The next uh, couple titles are Blu-ray titles. We have four Blu-ray titles, all 2023 new release films, starting with Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. Uh, one of the best movies of the year. This is very heartwarming. I think the performances are great. The screenplay is great. Uh, just a really wholesome, well-made coming-of-age story. That um, this is great. This is this is a great movie. It's very heartwarming. Uh, based on the book, never read it, but this film, you know, is great. So I would imagine it did the book justice. So. 
Uh, next up is a film that I have a review for coming uh, for you guys within the next couple days. Maybe Saturday night I'll be posting. Maybe Sunday morning I'll be posting. Not entirely sure. But regardless, the next episode of The King's Corner will feature three reviews. And it's for the next three titles you're about to see. Starting with About My Father. Starring uh, Sebastian and Sal Calco, Robert De Niro, Blu-ray combo pack here. Um, came out in theaters a couple months ago. Wasn't able to check it out in theaters. Finally checked that out on Blu-ray. And uh, yeah, you're interested in my thoughts on the film? That's going to be up in a few days. Including my thoughts for Bo is Afraid. Um, the, <laughs> what I'll say about this movie, I mean, is it's, uh, it's a hell of a trip. This is, is a hell of a trip, and, you know, do drugs, watch this movie, you might not make it through the night. So, yeah, Bo's Afraid. Ari Aster, come on, uh, Hereditary, Midsommar, now this three-hour film. Uh, yeah, and uh, the final film we're talking about is The Polite Society, uh, which, look, Big Trouble, Little Sister, uh, Nita Manzor directed this and wrote this. Um, a wildly witty action comedy. I'd agree with that. This is extremely witty. The screenplay here is really good, but uh, yeah, the movie takes a turn uh, to where I say in my review, it sort of feels like uh, if Get Out were a comedy film. And that's all I'll say about that. So that's what we're talking about. That's it, guys. That's this week's or this this month's update. Uh, you might not get another one for a month and a half. I have no idea, but uh, I usually wait till the stack is beefy enough to get started talking about some of this stuff. So, did you plan on picking any of this up? Did you pick any of it up? Comment down below what your thoughts on this collection update. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As I mentioned before, we got a review for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem up on the channel now. And we got the next episode of The King's Corner, which will feature my reviews for About My Father. And uh, the other two films were about Polite Society and Bo's Afraid. So come on over, check that out. You can follow me on Twitter, Ranking72, and Instagram and TikTok at KingOfRises131. That's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching this 4K and Blu-ray update video. And until next time, over and out.